I just want to have a quick word because um, just support UK, of which Barbara is chair and I'm a trustee and there are other trustees around the room and you're all, all aware of, I guess, um, are looking to increase awareness of GIST across the country. Uh, and to do that in a number of ways, including in hospitals themselves. So we're looking, everyone's eyes go down, we're looking for people, uh, just patients or carers, or anyone else here for that matter, who could be a, a kind of hospital rep, if you like, um, <clears throat> at their local hospital or regular hospital they go to. And we're aiming eventually to build a network across as many hospitals as we can uh, around the whole country. So please, I do ask each of you if you could have a careful think about whether you'd be willing to do that. Now, <clears throat> briefly, what it would entail is effectively being the liaison person between Just Support UK and the hospital's oncology department, and doing things like um, ensuring that stocks of uh, GIST leaflets and other literature are there, and that supplies are maintained. Um, <clears throat> also, um, helping make sure that oncologists and others are aware of GIST Support UK and <coughs> referring, a patient, uh, referring patients appropriately. And another specific task, actually, would be helping to ensure that the GIST um, tumour bank that Jane talked about before lunch is on people's radar in the hospitals and that um, the letter <coughs> that we've prepared, um, which you may have seen earlier, Right, yes, Andy will talk about it in a minute. I'm preempting him. Um, but anyway, there will be a letter about the tumour bank, <coughs> which uh, we've drafted. And really, we need to make sure that that gets to every surgeon and oncologist um, possible. <coughs> to in, to, it's when a patient is due to have um, a gist related operation. So that's some of the tasks. There will no doubt be a number of other tasks which will emerge. But in summary, it's really generally building a relationship uh, with the hospital's oncology department um, and with an, in that the oncologists, um, <coughs> uh, CNS, uh, community nurse, uh, sorry, clinical nurse specialists and other staff and in other relevant places. So if you're interested, please do uh, fill in one of our how can I get involved bits of paper which you may have already picked one up at the beginning on the welcome desk, but if not, please do afterwards. On the uh, patient survey, they can fill it in there. Ah, or on the patient survey. But leave your contact information. Okay. But please leave your contact information. Any more lines? <laughs> no. <laughs> and, um, which <clears throat> and which hospital you're, you're um, under, and then we'll contact you and... Um, connect with you and do the rest. Uh, it, equally, if you want to talk to me or Barbara or one of the other trustees over tea, then please do so. Or equally, if you just want to know more at this stage, talk to one of us again. Anything I missed? I think you covered it nicely. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. She's yeah. nicking the talk just now. on yes. the same subject, um, we've, we've had uh, a significant number of these posters printed off um, asking the question, could it be GIST? And um, obviously it's, it's identifying the most common sort of symptoms that patients, <laughs> patients present with, um, because unfortunately um, in the medical profession, GIST isn't always that well known. Um, it's not a standard uh, part of the curriculum that doctors are taught when they're at medical school, etc. Similarly, um, GP surgeries, you know, patients 
we, we get often patients right. saying that they've actually gone repeatedly to their doctor with, you know, bloating, indigestion, and, and been told, uh, you know, possibly it's something else or that they're imagining neurotic. they've got a problem or a neurotic or something. Uh, and it's probably because they aren't aware of the fact that GIST exists. So um, we've got a lot of these posters out there on the desk um, out at the front. So if, if you could take some of them and make sure they get pinned up in your local GP surgery. It's part of the education process as much as anything and raising awareness generally um, and locally in your hospital as well. The more people that see this, the more people will become aware that GIST actually is something that exists and hopefully um, we'll get an increased number of people recognising the symptoms and um, identifying GIST patients earlier and hopefully having their GIST removed while it's still possible to cure. So thank you very much if you can. Thank you. I'm just imagining um, would a letter of introduction of some sort from just UK. I'll repeat it back. It's a good point. Um, the question was, would a letter of introduction from GIST Support UK to the hospital help? So I'll chant to the chair for an answer. Um, I think that's a very good idea, and we'll definitely draft one. And uh, what we could do is make it available from the website, put it up online somewhere you could download it. I don't know, is that wise? Be, uh, Perhaps you better email us and we'll email yeah. you one back. That's probably so we don't get uh, all kinds of internet <coughs> spam rubbish. And interlopers. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Yeah, thank you okay. very much. Thank you very much. Thanks, Tim. Um, and now uh, Nick Puntis, another of our trusty trustees, is uh, going to tell us about another initiative. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to clip this on? I've no, been holding thank you. it for people to uh, hear. Uh, can you no, hear me? This is for the recording. That's for the recording. Oh. <laughs> so either you clip it on or I, I hold know. it. <laughs> right. Um, by the way, uh, what Tim has just said about uh, leaflets, I'm, my role within the trustees is to distribute leaflets. So if anybody's asked for leaflets, I'm the person that sends them to you. So there's a link on our website that sends an email to me and I then send you the leaflets that you, um, that you need. That goes for any publication. Um, we would always, in the first instance, ask that you take the, uh, the downloadable versions that are on the, uh, the website before uh, asking for a hard copy, or instead of asking for a hard copy. But it's there if you need it. Um, what I want to have a quick word about is, is fundraising. Uh, the reason that we exist, or are able to exist, to do things like what we're doing today um, and all the other bit, the leaflets that we produce and the awareness of everything is through fundraising, through people <coughs> making grants to us, be that Novartis, Pfizer or the general public. And the more money that we raise, the more that we are able to do for the GIST community. Um, we, for example, made a grant last year, I think it was, to um, Professor Judson at the Marsden to do a research project on uh, GIST tumour analysis. Um, we as trustees are looking for, uh, or will be very soon, looking for the next grant uh, uh, that we can offer as a, um, as a way for people to apply to us in order for them to do research to help ultimately find a cure for GIST. Uh, so what I'm really asking is, any fundraising that anybody feels that they can do for GIST will be very, very happily welcomed by <coughs> us. Uh, you know, we've, we've had people that have uh, done 70s discos and raised money. It doesn't matter how much it is. Um, tabletop sales, bingo, golf days. We've also had people that have left money to GIST Support UK in their wills, um, you know, which it doesn't happen that often, but you tend to find a lot of people uh, don't know where to, to, to sort of what to do with their money. They want to give it to a charity. Well, it might not be a nice thing to think about, but maybe mention just UK to them if you, if it's a relative or or a close friend. Um, with that in mind, uh, a friend of mine, my best friend, uh, decided that he wanted to run the London Marathon. I don't know why anybody would want to do that, but he decided he would like to do that, and he said he would like to raise the money for. Just support UK and can can you open that? Yeah, yeah. Can you open that? And he 
finished the London Marathon in a time of four hours, 15 minutes, something like that, and raised uh, 1,836 pounds to date. And I'd like to present this cheque to Barbara on behalf of uh, Just Support UK. And his name is Robert Bill. He's on the website as well for raising that money. So um, in his absence, I think we ought to give him a round of applause. Yeah.